Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an Ansible role in order to create a new EC2 instance in AWS Cloud. If you look at my previous video, what we have done is we have created an Ansible playbook in order for a provisioning EC2 instance in AWS Cloud. So this is that sample playbook, isn't it? But what we are going to do today, we are going to follow some Ansible best practices. We are going to create something called Ansible role, and then we are going to organize this Ansible playbook into Ansible role structure. Why? Because that is actually a best practice. So let's try to understand about Ansible role. So what is Ansible role? Ansible role is nothing but, let's say that you, know, you, are, you are in the process of setting up AWS infrastructure. So you'll have to create uh, various EC2 instances, a lot of S3 buckets, load balancer, VPC subnets and whatnot. So what you can actually do is, you can create something called Ansible role, and then you can place all your playbooks under that directory, right? So in that way, you can make use of you know, your code in much more efficient manner. So how do you create an Ansible role? You can create an Ansible role using something called Ansible Galaxy command. So when you create an Ansible role, um, you know, this is how the structure is going to be. Let's say you're creating a role with the name of AWS Infra role. When you create that uh, Ansible role, you are going to get this kind of a structure where you're going to see task folder, test folder, wash folder, handlers, defaults, and whatnot. Okay, so basically why we have to do it like that. So like I said, let's say that, you know, you have very much more complex a task which you are actually doing. So what you can do is you can break it down into a lot of smaller tasks and then you can manage your uh, you know, execution in much more efficiently, okay? So this is the example of Ansible role structure. And if you are wondering what are the things inside, we'll talk about that You know, when, when, I, when I demonstrate, I'm gonna create Ansible role and then we're gonna talk about that, okay? So basically what we will do in this uh, short video is, we will pick up this Ansible playbook and then we will convert into an Ansible role and then we will execute our playbook in order for provisioning EC2 instance in AWS Cloud. All right, so let's get started. So why don't we go ahead and then create our Ansible role. But before that, let's just make sure that, you know, we have all the prerequisite is taken care, right? So if you see here, we need to have Ansible installed. So I do have, my EC2 instance where I have conf configured Ansible and then I also have Boto installed as well. So you can see very well here. This is the Ansible version what I have currently. And then I also have Boto installed as well. So Boto is nothing but AWS SDK for Python. Okay. And then I also have um, IAM role attached as well to my EC2 instance. And then this IAM role has these policies. Okay. So you can also see that uh, if you go to security, quickly show you. Perfect. All right, very good. Awesome, so we do have prerequisite, everything is taken care. So why don't we go ahead and then get started? So let me uh, quickly get started with the creating inventory file. I think I already have that inventory file. I can show you real quick. So that is my inventory file. I also have added this particular entry because Ansible execution is going to happen on the management machine. So I have added that entry. And then I also have created a roles directory as well. But if you have not, you can go ahead and then create uh, the roles directory, but I have already created the roles directory. Okay. And uh, do I have anything in it? I don't have anything in it. Okay. So what is the scope of this video? So what we are going to do is we are going to pick up this simple playbook. I will also post this link in the description as well. So we're going to take this simple playbook and then what we are actually going to do is we are going to break down into Ansible role. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Now we need to create an Ansible role, right? So how are you going to create Ansible role? We are going to use Ansible Galaxy command. So how do you execute that? This is a command, right? So let me go ahead and then say Ansible Galaxy and then you need to say role in it and then you need to create, uh, you need to provide a role name. So I wanted to set up infrastructure in AWS Cloud. So assume that 
you are working in a company, uh, your responsibility is to set up infrastructure in AWS cloud using Ansible. So how do you start that work, right? So this is how you're going to start the work from ground up. You want to create that Ansible role and then you want to organize uh, all, all your playbooks, task, everything, you know, under that uh, folder. So let's go ahead and then create this role. There you go. As you can see here, Ansible role got created. And if you say LS minus AL, you're going to see this particular uh, directory. Now let's go ahead and then, you know, look at the structure of this directory. So I have already installed a utility called tree. Okay, there you go. So you can see here right now, whenever you create a Ansible role with Ansible Galaxy command, it created, you know, six different directories with eight files. So you all can see this, right? Okay. Uh, of course, I'm not going to go through each and every uh, folder here, but uh, so just to take a quick glance at it, right? Watch folder is, that is where, you know, you're going to declare all the variables you wanted to use in your Ansible playbook. And then there is also a test folder. So let's say you are uh, creating some, uh, you know, test cases and all, you can provide them under here. And then task. So this is a very interesting folder, right? So if you look at the whole playbook, so if you see here, this particular playbook is creating security group, and then it is also creating EC2 instance. So kind of, you know, two tasks under a simple, a single playbook, right? So what we can do is we can split into two different tasks and then we can create a, a separate, separate AML file. And then, and then we will reuse that AML file in the main Ansible playbook, right? So that is what, uh, you know, that uh, task folder. And then uh, meta folder. So if you have any kind of, uh, you know, meta related information regarding Ansible playbook that would go inside that. And then you also have a handlers. So let's say that you wanted to, uh, you know, set up some services, right? Which would be executed only once. Uh, you can also uh, mention that in that main.aml file. And then let's see. And then there is also a defaults folder. Let's say uh, if you wanted to create some uh, default variable, you can also have them under this particular folder, right? So yeah, I don't think it is extremely complicated. It's pretty straightforward. So now let's get started with our, uh, uh, you know, Ansible role uh, conversion, right? So like I said, we are going to pick up that uh, playbook and then we are going to convert. So first let's start with uh, declaring variables, okay? And if you look at the old playbook, you can see here I have a bunch of uh, variables declared, isn't it? So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to move everything under wash directory. So let me go inside the wash directory. Okay, so let me uh, go into the roles folder and then wash folder. There you go. So you see this file called main.xml file. So let me edit that file. Okay, so this is where all the variables would go inside. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to simply copy and paste. So let me simply copy and paste, there you go. So I wanted to create instance type of t.small. This is my image ID. Uh, I want to wait for some time and then group region code and then security group, right? And then the key pair name. So, so yeah, so basically whatever you wanted to uh, declare as a variable, you know, you can declare them under here. Perfect. And then let me save that file. And then I wanted to create a task. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's go inside uh, the task folder. And then we have this main.aml file. So it is up to you. You can either use the same file or if you wanted to create a separate file, you can very well do that. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to create a file called, you know, create sg.aml file. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to have all the code inside that uh, AML file. So I want to first create a security group. This will be attached to our EC2 instance, isn't it? So let me first create a security group. So how do I create a security group? So let me uh, first define uh, all my tasks over here. So this is how you would define, right? So these are the tasks which would go under there. Okay. And then what I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to leverage the wars, right? Whatever the variable file I have declared. So I'm not using the default main. So I'm going to ignore that one. You don't have to have that, but let me just copy it and then I'll remove it. Okay, 
so i don't use the defaults main.aml file but if you are using it feel free to include them but in my case i'm not actually doing it so i'm going to not to i'm not going to include that all right that's it right so basically what you're saying is uh, you want to refer the variables which you have declared in the watch uh, you know main.aml file and then th this is the task right and then you know you see you can see here you are reusing the name right so security group name is going to come from there and then the region you already declared the region over here so you are kind of reusing it right and then of course uh, whatever the port numbers you wanted to open so you can mention that over here and this is actually a egress so that's it right so let's save that file and then i wanted to uh, create one more task for creating ec2 instance so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another aml file okay and then i'm going to include this particular section so i wanted to use uh, wash main.aml file that is where we have declared variables just like we have done earlier and then this is the task for creating ec2 instance and then you can see here we wanted to reuse everything right security group key name and and everything okay and let me just uh, name this I want to give some sensible name okay perfect and then this wait timeout is actually nothing but uh, how long you wanted to wait before the execution is getting over so i wanted to wait for a couple of uh, seconds so that is totally fine all right so that's it right uh, let me see here i think so far so good and i don't think i'm using this particular variable so let me clean that up i don't think i'm actually using that so let me i don't think we needed that okay perfect Awesome. So we have declared the watch file. We also have uh, created two different AML file for defining our task. Okay, very good. So far, so good. Now let's go to our main folder. So this is our main folder. And you can see here, I don't have any playbook created inside that main folder. So now let's go ahead and then create a playbook. So I want to create, I mean, you can give any sensible name, but let me go and say main.aml file. So this is our main playbook okay so let me let, let me do one by one okay so let me first uh, make sure i have everything there there you go so this is the playbook which is going to create infrastructure in aws cloud and the connection is local absolutely host local this is actually coming from the inventory file so if you remember we have added right so perfect uh, i think that's supposed to be a local host okay perfect uh, and then and then we are going to go ahead and then include our task so i wanted to create uh, uh, you know security group and then i wanted to create ec2 instance so you see here right so you can literally see now a lot of uh, you know code reusability right so if you wanted to uh, create security group in in some other playbook you can very well call that isn't it just like how i'm actually calling similarly if you wanted to uh, create ec2 instance in some other you know some other playbook you can you can very well do that right so that's the beauty of uh, ansible role perfect so let's save this okay so basically if you look at the structure here we have declared our variables uh, and then inside the task we have created two different aml file and then we are going to call this aml file in our uh, in our main.aml file over here okay and i know i have a main.aml file here i don't think i need that actually so let me go ahead and then clean that up so i'm going to go inside the task i don't think i need it so it's gone perfect all right so now i think it is time to execute our playbook so very simple right so go ahead and then you know call our playbook that's it so now you see here right uh, what this will do is this will go ahead and then execute the first playbook which would create a security group and then right after that is done then it will go ahead and then create ec2 instance in aws cloud there you go
as we can see here uh, you know change to so it means that to um, both of our task got executed so how do you verify that let's go into uh, aws cloud the process of coming up there you go guys so so this was the name what we had given in our playbook isn't it so if you uh, i think not in the playbook we we yeah i think in the playbook let me just verify that so if you go to the task and then if you try to view ec2.aml file there you go that name is actually coming from here isn't it okay and then let's also verify whether the security group got created or not let's go into security there you go so this was the security name what we have provided and then these are the different port numbers what we wanted to open as part of the ec2 instance creation right the security firewall rule okay so looks like everything is looking good and then last but not the least let's make sure we are able to ssh into our the new ec2 instance what we just provisioned so you can copy that connect create a new window perfect you all can see right so now i was able to ssh into the new ec2 instance what we just provision that's how you can create ansible role in order to provision ec2 instance in aws cloud okay so one more thing i just wanted to quickly add let's say that you wanted to uh, create s3 bucket so how would you do it it's not that difficult all you have to do is let me also quickly show you uh, you just need to go ahead and then add a new task isn't it so you can say s3.aml file right or create s3.aml file right for creating s3 bucket so i'm actually referring the region from the watch and then that's it right so this should take care of creating s3 bucket in aws cloud so just save this task file and then go to your main.x main.aml file and then all you have to do is just include the task that's it right so what this will do is you know this will create security group ec2 instance and then it'll go ahead and then create s3 bucket so save this so let's quickly execute this now ansible playbook and then call the main.aml file there you go guys that's how you would also create s3 bucket as well that's how you can set up infrastructure in aws cloud using ansible role thank you for watching